Hello friends, I Dairya Bhatia welcome you to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of CSR net mathematics real analysis of 16th September 2022. But before that, let me share something with you. We believe that to qualify four different exams that is NET, GATE, SET and State Public Service Commission examination, all you need is just one single book with 2000 plus detailed solutions of questions. For more details you can register on our WhatsApp number given below. Moving on to the question. The question is, for alpha greater than equals to 0, define a n equals to 1 plus 2 raised to alpha plus 3 raised to alpha plus 4 raised to alpha up to n raised to alpha divided by n raised to alpha plus 1. What is the value of limit n tends to infinity a n? And the options are given to us as a. The limit does not exist b. 1 upon alpha square plus 1 c 1 upon alpha plus 1 and d 1 upon alpha square plus alpha plus 1. This question seems to be quite difficult in the beginning but if you just knew some basic mathematics of 10 standard you could have easily solved this question. Now how that let us see. As per the given question we are given that alpha is greater than or equals to 0 and a n is defined as 1 plus 2 raised to alpha plus 3 raised to alpha up to n raised to alpha upon n raised to alpha plus 1. Now whenever such type of questions are given and you are allowed to select the value of any variable in the question, always select the values of the variable and then try to solve the question. Here we firstly consider alpha equals to 0 in our given a n. So a n becomes 1 plus 2 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0 up to n raised to 0 upon n raised to 0 plus 1. Now in the numerator we already know that any number raised to 0 equals to 1. So the numerator is 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n times and the denominator is n that is n upon n and which is equals to 1. Now when you apply limit n tends to infinity to our a, a n it gives the answer as 1. This is when you selected alpha equals to 0. From this we get that option A is not correct because limit exists. But also for alpha equals to 0 the value of B that is 1 upon alpha square plus 1 will be equals to 1. The value of C 1 upon alpha plus 1 will also be equals to 1 and value of D. 1 upon alpha square plus alpha plus 1 will be equals to 1. All the three options are true. Now here comes the point where you need to be very careful. With the options, with the values and with the examples, you can always eliminate the option. You cannot say that the option is correct, but you can always say that the option is not correct. So as we took alpha equals to 0, it gave us that option A is not correct. But B, C and D can be correct. So now we need to take another value of alpha and check does it satisfy all the three options or still any options are eliminated. Be very careful over here when you are using examples to eliminate the options. Now let us take alpha equals to 1 in our an. This will give you 1 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 1 up to n raised to 1 upon n raised to 1 plus 1. So the numerator is the sum of first n natural numbers and denominator is n square. Further simplifying this gives us that sum of first n natural numbers we all know that it is n into n plus 1 by 2 divided by n square. And if we further simplify it, it gives us n square into 1 plus 1 by n divided by 2n square. And now if we apply the limit n tends to infinity to our a n, it is equals to 1 by 2. Now put the value of alpha equals to 1 in, the, in all the three options that is b, c and 
d so option b is 1 upon alpha square plus 1 that will be equals to 1 by 2 1 upon alpha alpha plus 1 that will also be equals to 1 by 2 and d 1 upon alpha square plus alpha plus 1 that will be equals to 1 by 3 so option d cannot be correct because in the question they are strictly saying that alpha can be any value greater than or equals to 0 so if alpha equals to 1 d cannot be correct thus d is not the answer so only two options remain b and c now this is also for only alpha equals to 1 we need to check one more value that is alpha equals to 2 to see whether b and c both are still correct or any of them gets eliminated so let us take alpha equals to 2 in a n this gives us a n equals to 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square divided by n raised to 2 plus 1 numerator is nothing but the sum of first squares of n natural numbers divided by n cube and we know the sum of squares of first n natural numbers is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 whole divided by n cube which further simplifies to n cube into 1 plus 1 by n into 2 plus 1 by m and n cube is common divided by 6 n cube now if we apply the limit over here we get limit n tends to infinity a n equals to 1 by 3 because there is 2 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator which simplifies to 1 by 3. Now putting alpha equals to 2 in only two options that is option B and option C. So option B becomes 1 by 5 that is not correct and option C becomes 1 by 3 which is correct. And as one option has to be correct and we eliminated three other options. So option C will be our correct answer. See, you can use this method to eliminate the options and as you have eliminated three incorrect options, the one that is remaining will be definitely correct. So, you don't need to memorize the sequences and memorize the series and memorize the formulas. All you need is just to apply simple mathematics that we teach you over here. Thank you and for more questions, you can be a member of our social club and watch 520 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our WhatsApp group.